Hi, this is Rodrigo from Take the Right Action and today is the second day of the 90 day below challenge. Now, I have a question that I need to answer here but before I'm um, just talking about this, I felt that holding the phone here, that my microphone, wasn't letting me express myself to move freely and that is all about this, like we are doing this challenge to express ourselves better to emotionally express better, to be more fluent when we are communicating. So I think this is great. I, I can move much freely without the phone. So I'm using this. <laughs> Good tip. If you want to do video vlogging in the future, you can have your phone, your, your, your simple phone attached to this and use a simple app of microphone to record yourself talking and of course a simple camera. Most of my friends are using another cell phone, like they are having, the, they are using the iPhone or s and to record themselves and another iPod or anything like that to, uh, as the microphone. However, now, so now we got the question that I need to answer. And this is a guy asking, how does a shy person train himself in order to become able to talk to clients? And this is something that I'm really able to relate because I myself, uh, even though most people think that I'm really social, that I'm, uh, I have a lot of friends and all that, and now it's true, uh, before it wasn't true, before I wasn't that social. And what happened to me was that, yeah, uh, I was the, the guy who was bullied in the school. I was the, the guy who everybody was molesting. And I, I got a shy personality over the years, and then I changed from school, and then went to, I, I met some new people who were like old party animals, and they have more respect. Uh, bullying is, was something that didn't really happen in that school. Uh, we, all <laughs> we all molested each other. Uh, we used to grow or desk and throw it, <laughs> throw it at each other and do a lot of crazy shit. But nobody was going to uh, give you any disrespect if you didn't get any. And it was like more equalitarian society where everybody was fucking with each other and anything. But anyways, these guys helped me out to become more social, to become like more like a party animal and things like that. Then I enter into the college and I started studying, and it was graphic design. And then again, I was uh, I was taken away from society because now I had a lot of shit to do. And at the end, I wasn't able to pay it. It was really expensive, and went to system engineering. Now, most of the people who are in system engineering will know this. You will meet a, a lot of geek people. You will meet what people here in, in Latin America call freakies. Uh, the guys who, who are re uh, really into anime, into computers and stuff. And something that happens with them is that they are not that social. It, they are social between their own freaky circle, within their own nerd circle. Now, something that happens is that when you get around some kind of people, you will develop their things. And this is pretty much how we are. Uh, most of our personality is in something that we have decided to do. It's mostly an influence from our families, or friends, or society, whatever, all our influences around us. Remember this rule. You are the average, oh, shit. sorry, uh, local salesman. So you are the average of the five people you are closest with. And so if you want to develop some, some goal really fast, I will, I will advise you to find people like that. If you are shy, try to meet people who are not shy, who are party animals, who are really social, and start getting along with them. You, just, you don't need to go along with like 20 people, for you only need five. That's it, five, and start making them your best friends and things like that, and you will start learning by osmosis uh, their, their things, their skills. You will notice things that they do. 
that you are not doing. You will start gaining more confidence. And this is pretty much what I did. Uh, when Once I realized that I was surrounded by people who were not doing it, a, anything good with their life, who were like these little internet trolls, who were just watching anime 24-7 and doing little cosplays and things like that, they was like, oh shit, uh, uh, I, I saw myself, I saw this path that uh, if I continued there, I was going to become like one of them, and I didn't want that for me, so I, I freak out and I run out to, from those groups, and then I realized that I was really into it, because I you know, like, oh shit, I don't have many normal friends anymore, and I had to start socializing again, I just had to start meeting people again, and then when I started in business, I had to do the same, I had to, and this is a good thing about the internet, uh, I have been in business in two years, and I have only met people in my country who are doing business in the last six months, so all of my entrepreneurs' friends are people from other countries doing businesses all around the world, uh, you can see in my interviews some of them. And it hasn't been until lately that I have been getting along with people, that I have been meeting people who are entrepreneurs here in my country. Uh, and the thing is that you have, you have to put into a position that you need to learn. You cannot trust your instincts, you cannot trust your own advice. Uh, you have to admit that you suck. <laughs> Uh, simple as that, you have to admit that you suck at socializing, that you are shy, and then start hanging around with people who have the skill that you want to learn. And then start take and put attention to what they do, put attention to how they socialize with other people, how do they approach to other guys. Uh, if you have co-working spaces in your country, I will recommend you to get in one that is uh, damn good, crazy, fast way to meet entrepreneurs, and as well, the, if you have any networking events, go on, go to some of them and start socializing with people. Try to find out like who's the boss here, like who is the one that he's killing it, and then just go to make a friend, not not to sell him anything, not to do anything, just to be his friend, just to provide value. Try to be there to learn things from them. How. How do they live? How do they act? Uh, how do they express? And when they, you do that, you will start noticing things really, really fast. And you will start re learning really fast as well. Remember, you only need to surround yourself with five people, no more. If you have more, then that's, that's, that's good, that, that's fucking amazing. But if you only need five, and start, stop hanging around shy people. Also, I will truly recommend a start uh, watching Elliot Holtz uh, in his YouTube channel and as well Everest Tyler. He talks a lot about social dynamics and because he's a pickup artist he talks it from the point of picking up a girl, uh, approaching girls and having sex with them. However, most of these rules that applies to picking up women apply to friends, apply to family, apply to many things. So. I would recommend to start following these channels. He has many videos. Uh, I will link some videos about if you are like uh, introverted or a shy person or anything like that, what can you do? I will put, post it down below. And then how you can start training yourself. And do this. <laughs> do a 90 day below challenge. It will help you free yourself. It will help you to express yourself. And obviously, <laughs> This is our blog about taking right action and entrepreneurship. Write some letters, then send it to companies and start approaching your clients. And start trying to make some sales. <laughs> like, put th this will be your goal from here and now. And this goal, put a day to it, like, okay, let's put two or three months to it. It's up to you, you know how much time you have. Let's put two or three months to it, and in these three or two months, you need to close three sales. 
So you will need to be dedicating at least one hour per day of contacting people. And I have posted be before how to contact people, how to, to get them. So if not, I'm going to do a, a, a better video, but you can find it. Yeah, I, I posted how you get your first sales. So go watch this blog post about how you make your first sales and then go and find these people and start trying to make some sales happen. So this is pretty much your, your action steps that you have to take. First, stop hanging around other introverted people. Second, start trying to find uh, people who are not introverted, who are like party animals, entrepreneurs, things like that. You can do that by joining into a co-working space, by going into networking events, uh, or internet forums, man. I, I, I mean, you can talk with them Skype. Like I say, I, I didn't met people on person who were entrepreneurs in my country until like six months ago. And I got a lot of value from my friends in Hawaii, in Australia, in UK, in, in Europe, in many places of the world by doing weekly Skype calls, uh, trying to put ourselves accountable to our goals. Uh, so internet is a good option as well. Uh, try to go into forums of entrepreneurship and try to meet people there. And lastly, try to get your first three sales. If you get them, you will have money. You will have learned a lot about yourself, about how to communicate and how, how to sell. And then again, you will have validated your idea that your services is something that can be sold. So go out, make three sales, find five people to socialize with, and start watching Elliot Holtz and R.C. Tyler to learn about how to socialize and how to become not shy. I was like a, new, a really introverted guy. I was like the guy who was in the recess all alone eating by himself near a tree, not talking to anybody. And now it's like, buddy, fuck yeah. <laughs> so that's a direction, man. So go, hustle, take care.